I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow me. Good afternoon, class. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon Madam Hooch. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Well, what are you waiting for? Everyone step up to their broomsticks. Whoa! Oh! Mi Mr. 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 Longbottom. Oh dear, it's a broken wrist. Come on now, it's all right. Up you get. None of you are to move while I take this boy to the hospital wing. Oh. Come on, dear. Did you see his face? Maybe if the fat lump had given this a squeeze, he would have remembered to fall on his fat backside. Give it here, Malfoy. No, I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to find. How about on the roof? What's the matter, Potter? bit beyond your reach. Give it here, Malfoy, or I'll knock you off your broom. Can't you fly that broom, Potter? Don't think this is the last of it, Potter. I'd take you on any time on my own. Tonight, if you want. Wizard's Duel? What's the matter? Never heard of a Wizard's Duel. Of course, yes. I'm his second. Meet me tonight on the fourth floor. Wands only. No contact. Dear Harry, would you like to come and have a cup of tea with me this afternoon? I want to hear all about your first day, Hagrid. Hagrid's bound to be in his hut. Come on, Harry, follow me. Make yourselves at home. This is Ron. Another Weasley, eh? <laughs> I spent half my life chasing your twin brothers away from the forest. Hey, Ron. Somebody broke into Gringotts. Listen, believed to be the work of dark wizards or witches unknown, Gringotts goblins, while acknowledging the breach, insist nothing was taken. The vault in question, number 713, had been emptied earlier that very same day. That's odd. That's the vault that Hagrid and I went to. Hagrid, I need to collect some ingredients for potions class. Do you know a good place to find plants in the school grounds? I have a lot of strange things growing out near my garden. You're welcome to go take a look. Be careful, mind. Wouldn't go wandering round at night. Then again, there's some pretty fearful things round here during the day. There you go. Be careful, Harry. People only die in proper jewels. You know, with real wizards. The most you and Malfoy will be able to do is send sparks at each other. Neither of you knows enough magic to do any real damage. I bet he expected you to refuse anyway. If he tries to curse you, you'd better dodge it. Because I can't remember how to block them. Half past eleven, we'd better go. I can't believe you're going to do this, Harry. You, go back to bed. Come on. Don't you care about Gryffindor? Do you only care about yourselves? I don't want Slytherin to win the House Cup. And you'll lose all the points I got from Professor McGonagall for knowing about switching spells. Go away! All right, but I warned you. You just remember what I said when you're on the train home tomorrow. You're so... Now what am I going to do? That's your problem. We've got to go. We're going to be late. I'm coming with you. Come on, Harry! We have to get moving! Follow me to the fourth floor. Over here, Potter. Brought reinforcements, have you? Good. They can watch you lose. 
follow me and let's finish this. Huh? Bye bye, Gryffindor. Ha ha ha! Looks like you've fallen into the Forbidden Corridor. It's a good job I let Professor Snape know. He'll be there any second now. Bye bye. Malfoy! There's only one way out of here and it's locked. Do you know any spells that can unlock it? Well, as it happens, I do. It's the Alahamora unlocking spell, but I don't actually know how to cast it. However, I do remember reading somewhere that the Alahamora spellbook is kept in the library. I've heard there's a shortcut to the library down that corridor. You're going to have to find the Alahamora spellbook, Harry. Then come back here and get us out! Harry! Are you alright? Thank goodness that's over with. It isn't over yet. We still have to get back to the Gryffindor common room. Cast Alahamora at the door and it will open up. This way. Through this door, Harry. Quick, in here! That was close. Ron, what are you... at its feet. I was too busy with its heads. No, not the floor. It was standing on a trap door. It's obviously guarding something. What could possibly need such heavy protection? It's either really valuable or really dangerous. Or both. Well, it's going to have to wait. They're going to be late for charms class. Follow me, Harry. Good morning, class. Today's lesson will most assuredly involve learning how to cast the softening charm, Spongify. Once you have managed to collect the Spongify spellbook, the Spongify charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. I'll give you a B. I have a message from Professor Snape. He wants to remind you all that your next potions lesson is coming up shortly and there will be house points deducted if any of you forget your ingredients. That is all for today. Class dismissed. Harry, you heard what Professor Flitwick said. We'd better get those ingredients of potions. Professor Snape, he doesn't want to teach potions. Everyone knows he's after Quirrell's job. Knows an awful lot about the dark art, Snape. I'll meet you at Hagrid. Hagrid, you know all about magical creatures. Do you know anything about that dog on the third floor? How do you know about Fluffy? Fluffy? 
Yeah, he's mine. Bought him off a Greek chappy I met in the pub last year. I lent him to Dumbledore to guard the... Yes? Um, never mind. That's top secret, that is. You forget that dog. And you forget what is garden. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Nicholas Flamel? Why does that name sound familiar? I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I think you'd better get your ingredients before it gets dark. Come on, Harry. The Halloween feast is about to begin. Let's get to the Great Hall. Where's Hermione? Pavati Patel said she wouldn't come out of the girls' bathroom on the second floor. She said that she's been in there all afternoon crying. Troll! In the dungeon! Troll! In the dungeon! Thought you ought to know. Silence! Everyone will please not panic. Prefects will lead their house back to the dormitories. Teachers will follow me to the dungeons. I've just thought, Hermione, what about her? She doesn't know about the troll. How could a troll get in? Don't ask me. They're supposed to be really stupid. Can you smell something? I think the troll's left the dungeon. It's in the girls' bathroom! <laughs> Hermione! Hermione! Move! Help! Help! Is it dead? I don't think so. Just knocked out. Wicked! Oh my goodness! Explain yourselves, both of you! Well, what it is? It's my fault, Professor McGonagall. Miss Granger! I went looking for the troll. I read about them and thought I could handle it. But I was wrong. If Harry and Ron hadn't come and found me, I'd probably be dead. Be that as it may, it was an extremely foolish thing to do. I would have expected more rational behavior on your part, and I am very disappointed in you, Miss Granger. Five points will be taken from Gryffindor for your serious lack of judgment. As for you two gentlemen, I just hope you realize how fortunate you are. Not many first-year students could take on a fully grown mountain troll and live to tell the tale. Five points will be awarded to each of you for sheer dumb luck. Perhaps you ought to, to go. to get us out of trouble like that. Mind you, we did save her from a full-grown mountain troll. Thanks. What are friends for? That was exhausting, Harry. I'm off to bed. See you later. Hello, Hermione. Do you know what lesson we've got first thing? It's potions, Harry. We've got to learn how to mix the Wigan World potion. I hope you've collected all of the ingredients. Follow me, Harry. You have collected all the required ingredients for the Wigan Weld Potion. The Wigan Weld Potion is in the large cauldron over there. You can fill your potion vial when required. Potter, where would you look if I told you to find me a bazaar? I don't know, sir. Thought you wouldn't open a book before coming, eh, Potter? For your information, Potter, a bizarre is a stone taken from the stomach of a goat, and it will save you from most poisons. A less powerful version of this is today's lesson, the antidote for common poisons.
I want you all to collect the following three ingredients. Flubberworm mucus, pufferpod spores, and moon dew. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potions lesson. It's a biology next, Harry. A biology greenhouse one is outside in the grounds. Come on, Harry. Professor Sprout's waiting for us inside. I've heard we have to watch out for the venomous tentacular. Today's lesson will involve learning how to cast a severing charm. The proper incantation for this charm is Defindo. You will see that a crawl space has been revealed in the wall. Beyond this is the Defindo challenge. Mr. Potter, if you wouldn't mind coming forward, please. The Defindo spellbook is located on the other side of the crawl space. Once you have managed to collect it, the Defindo charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Do you understand, Mr. Potter? Well done, Mr. Potter. You have successfully learnt the Defindo charm. However, you do not yet have the required skills to take on a fully grown venomous tentacular. It is a fearsome thing, and its bite is quite poisonous. Please follow me. Well done. That effort deserves an A. That is all for today. Class dismissed.